welcome back to our channel where we discuss everything related to the world of entertainment. In today's video, we'll be discussing the ending of Star Wars Jedi, Survivor, and what it means for the future of the series. So, if you're a Star Wars fan, you don't want to miss this. Star Wars Jedi, Survivor is the highly anticipated sequel to the 2019 hit game Star Wars Jedi, Fallen Order. The game takes place five years after its predecessor and sees protagonist Cal Kestis continuing to fight against the Galactic Empire in the year 9 BBY. Cal's insurgency has made him notorious, even among Imperial senators, and the concluding chapters of Star Wars Jedi, Survivor will have done little to take the heat off both him and the rest of the Stinger Mantis crew. Much of Star Wars Jedi, Survivor puts hero Cal Kestis in conflict with Dagon Jira, a Jedi who has survived from the time of the High Republic centuries earlier after being placed in a Bacta tank and subsequently forgotten about. Dagon is aided by Ravis, a Jedi who pledged loyalty to Dagon after being defeated by him in combat. Cal and Dagon have a final lightsaber duel in an observatory floating above Cabo's mountains, where Centauri Khri, another High Republic Jedi and very close acquaintance of Dagon's, sequestered the final compass capable of shepherding a ship through the Cabo Abyss. After a hard-fought battle, Cal and Boda Kuna managed to defeat Dagon and retrieve the compass, only to find it broken. They reason that their best chance at repairing it is Jedi Master Eno Cordova, so they return to the Stinger Mantis and set a course for Jedha. Unfortunately, things take a turn for the worse when Bode betrays Cal and kills Jedi Master Eno Cordova. Cal chases Bode on a speeder bike across the Jedha Desert, careening through an Imperial strike force that includes TIE fighters and at a tease. Bode draws Dagon Jira's lightsaber, stolen from the fallen Jedi's body, and reveals that he too is a survivor of the Great Jedi Purge. A short duel sees Bode injuring Cal, leaving his former partner to fall unconscious. Seer Junda, one of Cal's allies, takes up the mantle and tries to hold off the Imperial forces. She must retrieve the hidden path's communication codes, lest they fall into the hands of the Empire. There, it's revealed that Darth Vader is personally leading the assault, hoping to exact revenge for the Stinger Mantis crew's infiltration of Fortress Inquisitorius on Nur at the end of Fallen Order. Despite a well-fought battle in which the Sith Lord becomes visibly injured, Jedi Master Seer Junda is killed in the duel. Cal regains consciousness and witnesses Seer's heroic last stand through psychometry, his rare gift of witnessing echoes of the past through the Force. He tracks Bo to Nova Garen and infiltrates the Imperial Security Bureau, where he discovers that the Empire is planning something sinister. And that's it for the ending of Star Wars Jedi Survivor. While it neatly wraps up the game's main narrative, it does leave some threads dangling in case developer Respawn Entertainment takes the opportunity to add a third entry to its series. We can't wait to see what the future holds for Cal Kestis and the rest of the Stinger Mantis crew. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.